What kind of corporate response to the protests and Black Lives Matter movement have we seen? You know, I think it's been really interesting, Nira. These companies are realizing very quickly that putting out an email or a statement or a social media post is not showing their solidarity in the way that consumers want to see it. Consumers want to see commitment and long-standing commitment to the black community and support. And so, you know, one of the designers that I spoke with this week for our Quick Take show started this pledge called the 15% Pledge. And she's calling on big companies like Whole Foods and Target and, you know, and Nordstrom to pledge 15% of their shelves to black-owned businesses. And during our interview, she actually announced that Sephora, which is, of course, owned by LVMH, was the first company to sign on to this pledge. But she's waiting on so many other big businesses to sign the pledge and really show their support. But I think it's just really important for people to remember and these companies to remember that consumers are watching and they want to see commitment in several forms, long-standing forms, and they're not afraid to call these companies out publicly right now. Yeah, and Jennifer, just update us about um, the calls to defund the police. Where do we stand on that now? Yeah, so, I mean, defunding the police, that, that whole phrase, it's going to be something that I think we're going to be watching up until November, until the election. Um, but I think it's important for people to remember that activists are not calling on, you know, a complete abolishment or dismantling of police departments. They really want funds to be redirected back into the community, and they want funds taken from yeah. police departments to go into to things like housing and mental health support. 